Some of the ones over there with tubes, we were measuring gases that were coming out of them. We'll probably do that again. Some of them we measured the water. So what we did is we have six sites, old growth forests like this. Pick old growth forests because we thought they wouldn't change very much, although clearly some of the trees are going to die over the 200 years. And then we um, cut trees that are the size that we wanted. The timber company, uh, they weren't paid in cash, but they were paid in timber. They could take timber for the work. And then they brought logging machinery in here. That road we walked up, they drove up. Big logging trucks were coming through here. Mm -hmm. That slide of putting a log out was actually like somewhere around here. Uh, it was actually what was taken. And um, so anyways, <clears throat> and then we sampled them and then we come back periodically. We also have these process studies where we measure the water that flows out of them or the gases that come out. We've counted mushrooms, um, trapped insects, did all kinds of things to study mm -hmm. the processes that are going on around decomposition. Um, we did it a lot early on, and then we sort of do decades and 20 years after a while. So this 30 year is 10 years after. I showed you data 20 years, so this is going to be 10 years after. I'm hoping to get to another 10 years. Uh, and then by then I have these little hovercraft things where I can come out here on a bed and float around. And, <laughs> So maybe I'll get further into it than that. Here, this one that we cut in earlier years. So we took cookie samples off at of each end, and then we come back periodically and we cut cookies out of them, take them back, photograph them, do our little dicing and slicing thing that I showed you. And what we're trying to do is study um, the rate at which carbon is lost from these and other nutrients are lost or gained. Uh, from the logs, because some things like nitrogen might actually accumulate in this dead wood. Well, it's along a stream, particularly streams that don't have a lot of uh, coarse material like boulders or ledges. The, the drops in the water are associated with their logs. If the logs fall in, they capture sediment and it fills up behind them. And then it falls over the log and digs it out and causes a deep plunge to it. And then it fills in again. And like 95% of the drops in the vertical drops of the water are associated with these log feet. And the logs are across the river, not on the banks. Uh, they're probably at every angle you could imagine, but yeah, if there's if they're mostly across the river, they'll catch sediment. It'll also divert flows into the, you know, if it's coming down like this, it could divert the flow. So there's been a lot of effort to put wood back into rivers. You've probably heard about 